everybody, welcome back to another video. Finally, after months, uh, I'm finally back uh, to, on creating videos uh, and teaching you stuff. Uh, but today, as you can see, something new is happening here, and I'm not here to talk about tips uh, on design or how I'm, I'm not here to teach you something new. But as we're getting closer to the end of 2023, which was a quite a bit of a crazy year for me, I want to give you some updates of what happened in the past six months, uh, plus uh, some goals uh, and visions that I have uh, for 2024. So 2023 has been a crazy year for me because, uh, especially in the last six months, uh, because I've wasted $10,000 on a project that didn't turn out as well as I wanted to. And I've learned uh, so much uh, throughout the process, uh, but as you can see, it's not the perfect outcome for something that uh, costed me 10k so the project was the brand identity for my own design studio and there are a couple of reasons why i wanted to found and to create my own design studio instead of pursuing the freelancer path uh, and solopreneur path uh, but i'm gonna talk about all those reasons uh, a little bit later on in the video after the project after i wasted the 10k on that project uh, i had a base uh, a rough base of what i wanted a starting point uh, and then uh, i built uh, everything on top uh, i've designed old website, entire website, because of course uh, my design studio is gonna focus on web design. So I needed to have uh, an extremely specific, particular and unique website for my studio. It required me some time, so, and finally I, come to, I came to a solution for this design studio. Everything uh, is set up as I want, uh, the style, uh, the feeling of the website. The most important reason why I wanted to build a studio is because I want to reach more structured clients. Not in terms of budget, not in terms of money that they can spend on a website, but in terms of at least having a brand identity, a solid brand identity, photography, having the possibility to shoot, to shoot new photos, all those kind of things. And it happens to me in the past that customers, because I'm a freelancer, they come to me, they don't have a brand identity, photography, not, they have nothing about the visual aspect of their businesses. They come to me and we had to waste a lot of time building the brand identity, uh, um, waiting for their, photographer, their photographers to shoot new photos. Uh, to be honest, uh, I, I got tired of that. Uh, and, and there were two other thoughts uh, that brought me into thinking uh, I need and I want to open this studio. First one is that I wanted to divide my socials in terms of I want to have my socials for teaching stuff uh, and to design stuff. Uh, so clients uh, can distinctively see the two things. Uh, the other thing is that I wanted to I want to create this studio to have a team uh, to create to have employees. Uh, and another one uh, is that I wanted to create something uh, that give me the possibility to learn uh, new skills uh, and new stuff in terms of design uh, and entrepreneurship uh, and business uh, so that I can teach you more things and more useful stuff uh, for your career. So the name of the studio is uh, Empico and uh, I know that a lot of you on Instagram uh, already saw this name floating around on my posts. Uh, go follow me because because I post uh, all the updates uh, on Instagram. Uh, so if you want to stay updated on my situation in the design space uh, with the studio, etc., definitely go follow me on Instagram. And it was kind of tough for me to come up with a name because I'm not, I suck at names. Uh, and uh, I've wasted one month or three weeks uh, in finding a name. Uh, and then I asked uh, some help uh, to ChatGPT. And uh, although the power of the AI uh, and the, of ChatGPT, it still took me th two or three weeks uh, to come up with a name because uh, I didn't like any of the solutions and the names that ChatGPT came out with. Uh, but finally, after two after two months uh, or one and a half month, uh, I came up with something uh, and the name is Empico. I really like uh, the empathy, empathizing with clients, empathizing with people. I'm a person that really empathizes with other people and their problems. Uh, so I thought that this name reflect my personality and the way I want to work. Uh, because I think that nowadays a lot of websites don't have, don't really have a soul and don't tell uh, the story of the brand uh, in, in its entirety. There are uh, all those kind of websites that look really nice, uh, that are done in a pretty decent way, but they don't tell the story of the brand. So I want to revolutionize everything and to create to start creating more websites that reflect the brand's stories. Let's take a fast look at the website with the colors, the layout, etc. It's, it still has some work to do, but this is basically what I was thinking for the website. And I wanted to give this a kind of brutalist print effect and something really unique and specific to what I like because I think that the studio has to reflect what I like or the vision of the, for, of the brand. So I want to create something that is really interactive, but that still feels like a 
print effect with some weird particular effects. So for example, in this section, uh, there, the services are displayed in a really unique way. And I think that if you visit this website with all the sections, all the colors, etc., you're going to remember this experience a hundred percent. And I'm super pumped because I really love this website and I spent uh, the past uh, three years uh, designing my portfolio or some kind of website for a possible studio and I didn't like any of the solutions that I came up with. I spent three years and I didn't have a website that I that I really loved and enjoyed looking at. So at the moment, this website, I'm so proud of that because it looks amazing. I want to show it to clients, I want to boost it, I want to do everything on this website because I really like it and it's really, really unique. I haven't seen a website like that before. And at the moment, I am the art director of the studio and the designer, plus I have a collaboration with other guys that do advertisement and I also have a developer. I'm trying to create a larger team and but <laughs> I'm one step at a time guys I need to take this low you know in order to do stuff in the correct way without any big mistakes so of course I'm gonna make some mistakes along the way again guys if you want the construction of the website uh, let me know in the comments down below more than happy to show you everything about the website every detail and how with the thought process behind every single interaction uh, the layout, uh, all those kind of things, so let me know in the comments down below. Now, this is basically what happened in the last six months uh, of 2023, and uh, the reason behind my inact inactivity here on YouTube, uh, it was a pretty tough moment for me, and extremely busy, so it requires me a lot of time to record uh, tutorials and to teach you stuff. Uh, I really enjoy it, but it requires me a lot of time, uh, and because of this project plus client projects, uh, I didn't have time to do those, oh, everything in a really nice way and with quality, actually. Now, the goals for 2024 are, first of all, to create a bigger team, to give you the opportunity to work in, in the studio and to earn money with the things that you do and the things that you love, uh, because if you do design, you love design, so. <laughs> and second of all, I want to create a, um, I want to be more present on social media, on YouTube, on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on Dribbble, on all the platforms that I want to be on. Primarily, I want to be more present here on YouTube because I love to teach you new stuff. Even though it requires me a lot of time to create videos, I love doing that and I love to keep in touch with you. And I think that this design studio is a huge opportunity for me and for you in learning new stuff along the way, in keeping you updated on all the things that happens for the studio, if it fails or if it goes well we can learn together new skills in terms of design and business so this is basically it guys it's a really short video but i wanted to briefly and shortly tell you what happened in the last six months and the future goal for 2024 i'm super excited and pumped for 2024 i hopefully after this broad view of what is happening right now you are so pumped too for the new year leave a comment down below smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already and i'll see you in the next video with some more updates or let me know what you want to see in the next video